this video is dark because right now we in a dark time and I wasn't going to even make a video or even try to talk about this situation I have my white light I have my blue light that's right here and it's really sad that we forgot about the people the heroes who have been dealing with the coronavirus situation nurses I mean everybody right And I had a feeling that soon, as they open up cities, states, that we were going back to something that was going to cause an outbreak. And it happened. <clears throat> George Floyd. Another black man have been sacrificed and it, it make me think about Detroit 1967 riot. How the National Guard took over Linwood Dester. They had tanks on the football field at Detroit Central High School at that time. I wasn't even born at that time. Not quite. But they pointed guns, demanded the people to go in their house. Of course, people threw rocks and bottles at the police. But when those National Guards came in the picture, all those people cleared the streets. Do I stand for justice? Yes. Do I stand for peace? Yes. But how do I stand for justice and peace? Might not suit a lot of y'all, man. But I, I couldn't keep my mouth shut. Because there's too many brothers dying. A lot of situations could cease. But brothers have, and we all know, there's something in us that we have just don't like. when a person in a uniform demand you to do something. Now I included myself in this because I am black. But my standpoint in dealing with police officers is on a whole different level. I never got beat by the police. I never got threw down. I can't give a bad really really a bad story on the police I can't man I'll, I'll be lying to the people but what I'm about to say to the people those of you who are watching me right now is that the brother 
George Floyd could have lived. I say he could have lived if a citizen would have just stood up. You see, it's always Our people, man. That wait after the fact to do something. We all watch the video. As y'all seen in my video and the footage. And when I... This generation don't understand about the elite. They don't understand about the, the, the new world order. They don't understand what's going to be taken from them as they get older. They, they just want to get wild and, and they, they just want to do them. And the black community have gotten so used are killing their own brothers want to jump on our sisters you a man when you in the hood you the real nigga in the hood but when none of y'all a real nigga where y'all video record a man can't breathe, dying just like the rest of them. And got the audacity to tell the police to ease off of him. He can't breathe, can't you see you killing him? You got more than 10 people. And I'm not making this video to say it's time to attack the police. Time to shoot the police. But what I'm saying is, is that it's time for you niggas, you brothers, to take them phones out your ass. Throw them bitches down and get to action. Ain't no way I would have stood watching a brother dying with a motherfucking police officer on his goddamn neck. I would have got a brick. I would have got a stick. I wouldn't give a fuck if it was four or five cops, dude. If somebody recording, if it was a female recording, record. Because I know I'm going to jail. You don't know the laws. Police officer just can't shoot you. From being a witness and they doing the, they doing the shit wrong. The citizen would have had every right to start throwing shit at them cops. You niggas be talking about you would take a bullet for your homeboy. Before you jump out of here, man, think. You would have saw me, either I'd have been got shot, but I would have did it in the way. All I want you to do is get off the man's neck. All I want you to do. It's not choke the man to death because he has cigarettes. It's too many of you fake ass want to be real niggas in the hood. And it's time to be a fucking man, dog. And you use the fucking excuses. This is what I'm saying. Y'all use the riot shit. Y'all riding and y'all fucking up y'all goddamn neighborhood. Talking about justice. 
Just is no peace. We just is no peace. We gon' burn this motherfucker down. We gon' burn all this shit down, man. We gon' we, man, fuck you, motherfuckers did it because you niggas just wanted to go in there and ride and take shit. You didn't do that for a cause for this man death. Everybody got motherfucking twelve hundred dollars, free fucking money, and you niggas all on Facebook, all on Instagram, flashing your money, talking about I'm about to get some bitches and get some liquor. None of you niggas bought a car. None of you niggas help your girl pay her fucking rent. None of y'all niggas pay child support. Bitch niggas. A black man will never die my eyesight. No man will die my eyesight without me stepping up, nigga. Y'all got me on some ill shit tonight, man. Detroit went through this shit before. And Detroit ain't never rebound. From the 67 riot, dog. It was so many fucking black businesses. Black owned businesses. And when the riot broke, niggas just took just every stone, everything, just looting, taking shit. A minute, y'all niggas want to get TVs. Y'all think that's what y'all did? Running out the store TVs and shit. How's that motherfucker standing up for justice? That would have been standing up. Seeing a video where citizens stood up throwing shit, just getting the police because he was killing a man. And yes, was the four other cops. They fired. And they need to be locked up. That was murder. But ain't nobody talk about those black brothers who had businesses and was standing out there with their motherfucking AR-15s and their AK-47s. They protected their own from their own people. This ain't about white people, black people. This is about the good and the bad. Now what side are you going to stand on? Get me all out of my character tonight. But all this protesting, all this, all this, we want, all, that's, uh, it's, it start to stand up. We got to mentally, just like the police, train our minds. How long will a black man be a trick? How long will a brother man stand up? How long will it be before men just stop blaming all the downfall on a white man? We all, motherfucker, some kind of way going through some shit. Ain't about no privilege. Earn that shit. Y'all done burned down y'all shit. 
Y'all, y'all auto stores. So if you cars need work, you y'all done did you did it to yourself. And then all you all you black people, you're gonna be crying out to the man who 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 y'all hate the most and, and want him to send money to help y'all help y'all rebuild. In the end, God is gonna separate. His people from the devils. And it ain't going to be about color. It will never fucking happen around me, dog. What about you? I'm out. I'm out. I said what I had to say. It is what it is. If you wanted to prove something, y'all would have distracted those police where that officer wouldn't have a choice but to get off that man's neck. You won't Take out the National Guard. But if you're willing to give your life in a shootout, and, and you know you will lose, because a lot of you niggas got guns, but you don't you ain't trained to use them. But your mindset is trained to listen to your bullshit ass fucking rap shit. Putting the gun to our motherfucking women head. You gon' you gon' spray a nigga tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Watch and see. They're going to be crying for the help from the president. And the elite already knew what was going to break out. And some of the most sellout niggas, they have sold out. And st that's why all that riot shit started. You niggas got motherfucking money. Why fuck up the goddamn shit where, where we all, people got to go? Clothing stores. Because you, you wanted to do it. You wanted shit for yourself. You didn't do it for justice and peace. Because if you would have did it, it wouldn't be a riot. Y'all would be standing in front of that goddamn police department. And thousands, hundreds of you motherfuckers. Enough said. And I said, you do not want to piss off the black man fucking 300. Real men stand up, little boys, sit your fucking ass down. Another night of unrest in Minneapolis with police using tear gas to control the crowds. Minnesota's governor has called in the National Guard after protests lead to fires, looting, and violent clashes. Demonstrators want criminal charges filed against a white police officer shown on video holding his knee on the back of the neck of 46-year-old George Floyd. Floyd repeatedly told the officer he could not breathe. By the time Floyd was taken from the scene, he was unresponsive and died.